what to think about when you're born into a fire. Let them burn, let them burn it out. They sell them to the richest fire. They want to let the world decay. They tell us lies and fade away, fade away. We feel betrayed. We were raised to lose the race. Wake it to the back of the pack. Kill it anyway. Listen up, listen up now. Because we're never dropping out. I beat the odds, beat the big house. The brains are bigger than the doubt. We've been thinking for ourselves. Never let the truth fade away. This is bigger than ourselves. We won't let the world burn. Hello, everybody. Hello. How are you all doing? I hope you all are having a good day. Uh, I hope you all are having a great time. It is time to get back into League. Oh, oh wow. My uh, webcam is making me look for, for fail. Let me fix that real It's a lot paler than I meant to be. <laughs> there we go. That looks a bit better. Hi, Andorf. How are you doing? And why is it Leagues now? So Leagues is a temporary game mode in RuneScape where um, a lot of different effects happen in the world. So right now, um, we are currently working on different tiers of relics. We are currently five tiers in. With tier five, this means that our XP rates are multiplied by 12. Uh, this gives me some boots that let me auto thieve and gain XP or agility XP while running. Also, there's infinite run energy, so I don't have to worry about running out of that. Fairy's Flight lets me to teleport to every fairy ring, uh, tool leprechaun, and spirit tree. Um, Banker's Note gives me an item that lets me note and unnote items at will. Um, then we also have Superior Sorcerer, which makes magic just the objective's best solution to kill anything right now because I save 90% of the runes I use to cast spells and uh, I also get to just have boosted damage and attack super super fast and then treasure seeker gives me uh, more loot when I do clues rolls so the only issue though is that I don't have access to everything all at once um, I only have access to certain specific areas so I can't go into Asgarni or Wilderness or Mauritania because I haven't unlocked them yet. There's one more region that I am going to unlock. It's going to be Koran. So once that's out, then we'll go ahead and uh, give that a visit. But I still have to complete another 63 tasks until I can do Koran. So we got a lot of work to do. Right now, my main thing is I'm trying to figure out what to do to get some prayer potion. Because I want to try and do uh, the fight cave tonight, but I don't have nearly enough Ranars to be able to do it. Aberrant Spectres kind of seem to be an option. Because they are in Kandoran. Not sure where, but that is an option. What if you let people just completely trivialize nearly every element of the game, but not all at once? Yeah, this is uh, this is only going to happen, or going to keep going on for like two months. So, very, very temporary game mode, but a very fun one at that. Let's see. I think I do some Slayer training. I think that's... That's the best option to take here. Okay. 
yeah let's go ahead and do some of that um though i do want to take this opportunity to raise up my melee stats and i came up with a plan because we have this rune scimitar ornament kit also by the way i got the 50 mil xp thieving task and i now have about six mil of cash to work with so we're going to be set for cash for quite a bit of time Do you have auto quieting on your background music? I don't think I do. If I do, I don't realize that I do. Um, what was I doing? I was grabbing something. Money. Oh, I was just going to, uh, ape Paul. Oh yeah, also these nine by or these three by three fire spots. That's also because of these fancy little boots here. Basically, right now I'm done with the boots. I only have to keep wearing them until I hit level 99 agility. Which kind of does suck. I, I am realizing why people are saying it's largely largely trivial to get these, but uh it is what it is. Just gotta do what I gotta do and uh deal with the relic I pick. Production Prodigy was the better choice overall. Being able to instantly process stuff and get more of the stuff that you process is much better than uh, the one I ended up getting. Okay. Oh, you don't sell rune scimitars? Really? These guys seriously not sell room scimitars? That's really funny. Wow, only one shop in the store sells it, and it's in print. Okay. Um. Then in that case, because I still want a room scimitar for this. Um. What can I kill fastest? Zami warriors take a while. One one twenty eight fire giant. Is there a way for me to get a holy symbol? Let's find that one out. I have to bless it. Okay. Um, prayer item. The only religious items I have are the religious items that this group likes, and I want to try and get these guys to attack me. Uh, I might be a little stuck here. Unless I do some easy clues, but I don't want to really do that. See if I can find a better god item list here. Okay. Not really looking for weapon. Offhand, nothing good. Head, nothing good. I can get monk rope. Is there a way for me to get monk rope? That'll be how I have to do this. Edgeville Monastery or Hallowed Sack. Ah, there's no. There's nothing else I can kill? Monks don't drop these? <laughs> uh oh. Um. Okay. Can I get the Zami Monk Top anywhere? Is 
there is a monk of Zamorak in Mistelin. Okay, that's where we go. Okay, we found it. We've we are so back. We figured it out. We get one of these. And then we don't have to worry about the rune scimitar. I'm just gonna buy like probably like an Addy scimitar or something, or a Myth scimitar. Just the best scimitar that I can get. Are Addy scimitars sold anywhere? Okay, so it looks like I'm stuck with a Mithril scimitar until I get uh 60 attack. So we'll go ahead and focus attack then. Because I want to get attack and strength up to 60. Uh, just so that way I at least have a good baseline for... Uh, just so that way I have a good baseline for like any sort of melee combat that I have to do because of like Prey Mage and stuff like that. Alright, so it's apparently a 1 in 20 chance from these guys. So just gotta kill these guys a bit. There we go. Monk top. We're already done. Um, okay. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves that Mithril Scimitar really quick. Okay. And the Dragon Scimitar, because why not? I think that'll still be a better weapon than the Abi Sword until I get Obsidian Armor, so it's good to at least have. Um, okay. And now, we head to Alcarid. That was the closest I'll ever get to Mauritania. I am very happy I do not have to go into Swampland. Okay. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and pause this. Deposit this. We also need to deposit money. Rope top we wear. Scimitar we wear. We deposit these two. And then. We don't have any prayer potions. So we're just gonna have to kind of deal with prayer as best we can. Hopefully the blessing doesn't completely uh, negate things. So we'll find out. But otherwise, this will be a pretty easy bandit uh, situation. I do need to bring money, don't I? Bring like 10k. Bypass. Put choppies. And off to Bedamin Camp. Then we run south. Alright, hopefully this isn't too bad and we can get our attack XP pretty quickly. Otherwise, I might just grind on some like weak high HP mobs and see how we go there. This is just good because it'll also give me Slayer XP. I just have to make sure I have an escape plan for when I uh, when I run out of prayer. Nice little wide angle. That was weird. These are the bandits in here. Got one area going. Looks like everybody is currently occupied and they are not wanting to attack. Let's go to this world and see if we can find some open spots. Uh, 
I might be able to get some in here. Those are shopkeeper, never mind. Um Yeah. Oh, can I just attack them and then they'll start filing on me? Okay, let's see if I can find a different world then. Worst part is that uh, Leagues does have everything very populated. Even more obscure methods like this. That's kind of like a one-on-one -on -one fighting area. Let's keep shopping around. Oh yeah, uh, actually, Brunescape hit the uh, its peak player count of all time not uh, not too long ago. It was like two hundred thousand players on uh, on Saturday or Sunday. It was crazy. That's so many people playing this game. Oh hey, here we go. All right, so I walk in here. I pray melee, throw on this. There we go. All right, and now we chill. This is taking a bit of time. Let me see if there's a quest I can do to raise up attack XP. Can I do fight arena actually? Is that one already done? It is, dang. Okay. Um uh, Yeah. Yeah, there's not really anything that I can train attack on reliably. crystal memories back awesome and we just do this over and over until we get uh yeah we do this what's happening okay there we go we just do this over and over until we get uh 60 attack which eh, we'll see how long it takes shouldn't take too long
Okay. Back into it. Let me see if I can find anything a little bit better to attack. I could do ammonite traps, honestly. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Or Moss Giants, I do need to get Bryophyta. I wonder if I could just keep on Crystal of Memories spamming here and just keep going back and forth between here and the altar. Hey, what's up? Thanks for saying hi, Magician. Hope you're having a good time. By the way, I am currently multi-streaming, so if you see me respond to a chat that you don't see, uh, that is why. <laughs> I'm currently live on both Twitch and YouTube, so we're getting a little spicy. Okay, this is definitely the strategy. This is just the slowest way to go about it. I think I'm going to head back to Fossil Island. And we're just going to really quickly grind up a uh, 60 attack on Ammonite Crab. And then I'll come back and just barrage this. Oh, I don't have memory stored. Good to know. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get our prayer back. And then we'll head to... But first, let's grab Dragon Scimitar, just in case we need to swap back into it. Because uh, we could also train up... Uh, we could train up defense there, or uh, strength there too. Defense will be done through barraging, but strength would probably be good here. Unless I do some barbarian fishing. Actually, barbarian fishing might be the best way to do strength. Okay, I won't worry about strength then. We'll just get up to attack. Then we have the scimitar there to swap into to get a task done. Okay, cool. Of all time? Yeah, uh, I think for old school, I... I know that RuneScape has had a, more than a million accounts made, but I don't think they've ever had more than 200,000 concurrent players. Like, at one time. Alright, Ammonite Crabs actually might be pretty packed. So let's see if we can at least find, like, one or two. There we go. There's two right here. We'll take these. We're the mage going through and attacking a crab with a sword. All because I don't want to go back and uh, grind out a rune scimitar because that will take more time than will be worth. Besides, we're hitting some pretty good XP rates here. Barbarian fishing sounds like the name of a tech you <laughs> used to absolutely dump for the level of inexperienced players on a PvP. 
There we go. Oh yeah, I could see that. I could hundred percent see that. Why is this guy on my grab? I gonna ask him that. Of all the people, you picked me to crash? I mean, have fun not getting dropped, so I'm not moving. token. We'll take that. Alright, cool. So that's actually two frog tokens now. So if we want to, we can get a third one later. Okay. That guy started to attack, but we'll take this. That guy was going to make things spawn super slow, so I just figured it wasn't worth it. I feel like there's something I could be doing to boost this faster. Have I finished my Lumpy Diary? I need to kill a cave bug. Go to the S fine. Drop and burn. Oh, have I really not done that? Fake bread. Okay. Yeah, we'll do the Lumpy Diary. That's going to be a much more efficient use of our time here. Just took a second to figure out that game plan. Okay. Uh, cool leprechaun. Last destination. Should be able to go right there. Yep. Okay, we're good. Oh, right. So we need to chop and burn the log. Uh, I got to keep the mythical scimitar on me just in case this isn't enough. I'd be shocked if it wasn't, but I'm pretty sure it's fine. Um, I wonder if the Rune Axe is actually a better weapon than the Scimitar. You know what? We'll drop the Scimitar. If I don't get this through Lamp, then I'll just do it through another method. Okay. Um, Rune Axe. We need a tender box. We need a light source. Uh, ooh, I don't have a good light source for this. I'll bring the torch, but that's going to be scary. And what else did I need? Um, Lumpy, Lumpy, Lumpy. That's fine. Oh, fuck. Zombie. Bread. There we go. I believe the cave bug is over here, so we'll go ahead and just delete it first. It's got to be a little bit careful. There's a cave bug over there. Alright, it's been deleted. Uh, now we last destination this. Vanquish. Chop oak, burn oak. Choppy, burn then what is it? 
kill a zombie and teleport to the Oh, right. Uh, baked bread. Need to do that. Okay. Do I still have a pot of flour? I have a pot of flour. One moment. I thought someone entered my room. What you think, what you think about? When you born into okay. Let them burn, let them burn. Bye, Bye. Bye. Pot of flour. I'll need a bucket. Uh, or I'll need bucket of milk I need a bucket of water is a whole bucket of water and a whole pot of flour to make bread and that's it those are the only ingredients okay that's good to go and now we fairy ring to wizard tower Okay. Click Essence Mind Teleport and then pretty much be set. Gotta kill a zombie after that. Okay. There we go. I also need to think about getting a fury here pretty soon. It's gonna be a long time since I can get or until I can get the gold or any Zenites. So may as well get a fury to fill that spot. And that should be all the tasks in Lumby. All right, awesome. And that is a league task too. I've been doing as many league tasks that I mainly just working on more personal goals to help get other league tasks. Where is the guy? There you are. Okay, we put this into attack. 30k attack XP gets us to 57. Okay. Uh, is there another diary that we can do? Barok. How, how are we on Barok? We could do all of that. No, we can't do Earthrunes yet. Um... Well, we could do a game of Guardians of the Rift. Let's do that. Let's do a quick Guardians of the Rift game. And maybe that'll give us some, like, pure essence or at least an option to be able to, uh, teleport. Uh, maybe that'll give us an option to craft Earth Room. We'll at the very least be able to buy the Talisman. It's just getting the essence. That's weirdly the hard part absolute worst base scenario i guess i'll have to mine it okay now we go for i guess the explorer's ring would be good to wear for the uh prayer bonus need to sit okay and switch to starting rift there it is hopefully we get here towards the end of the game rather than the beginning of one. I don't want to have to wait super long. Where are we at right now? 56%. So we're a little over halfway through. Uh, we can chill out and wait. Yeah. 
in the meantime, still gonna look at what drops. Uh, ran ours. That would be good to do. Okay. So aberrant specters really do seem kind of like the best option, which if I were to do that, I need to continue Slayer. Um, otherwise, there's the chests in the Isle of Soul dungeon. How can I get there? Is it just one chest? Oh, looks like we're going to the Isle of Souls after this then. Because I just found a way to get Ranars. Uh, apparently there is a chest that has a 1 in 20 drop rate there. So if I just bring Bankers now and camp there for a bit because it instantly responds. Um, then yeah, I can, uh, I can get a ton of Ranars. Awesome. I probably want to get like 30 or 40 to start. Now there's apparently a dark key, a dark chest. What is that? Give me some dragon. Give me some rune. Okay. Give me some runes. Some ammo. Also gives ranars, so that'll be good to look at. Dragon leather. Okay. Dragon bone. Baby dragon bone. That's gonna be good for prayer training. Yeah, we go take a look at this for uh, for a little bit then. Looting the chest for the Isle of Souls of the Dark Death. What else could I look at? Um, let's see. There are Chaos Druids. I could always go to Chaos Druids. Baked bread is supposed to break bread. <laughs> More commonly known as dough. Yeah. How are we there? How far are we from this? Peak. 84%. Okay. Okay, yep, we have our plan. Also, I need to see if there's a way for me to get a lockpick. Let me see if there's a place for me to get at least a lockpick. This, uh... Carrying a lock. Okay, uh, lockpick. Where can we get them? Bandit for the bandit camp. Okay. Uh, young implant jars. Okay. Or. Oh, there's a spot, the Yano Agility Dungeon by Salaran Twisted, which is a guy that I have to kill anyway. Okay, looks like they're getting ready to get in here. Peek. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. 
Let me in. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Okay, we're in. As long as we got in at this part, this is all we needed. All right, I'm gonna switch public chat to off because uh, this minigame can get pretty toxic. Literally shaking the gate saying let me in. Oh yeah. All right, so we're basically gonna be mining this until we see just a lot of people suddenly dip out. Man, 60 XP per hit. Just like real uh, mining rates. <laughs> So since I don't have any rune pouches, I just kind of have to deal with this as things happen. So I don't get to store any extra essence. It's just very much what I have in my inventory is what I get to use. And we got to be even between elemental runes and uh, catalytic runes in order to be able to get a good score. So, or in order to be able to receive a full reward. So hopefully we'll be fine. Seeing some people already kind of dipping out. Yeah, that's probably a good idea at this point. I have enough for inventory and a half. Probably as good as I'm going to get at this current level. My mining is very low, so. I'll need to find an opportunity to get that up, raised up a bit. Then I might go over to where these guys are, or where these guys are more like. Find some more remains here. All right. First one is gonna have to be Earth. I can't craft Death Rune. All right. It begins. Closet room. I go in here and get a full inventory. Ooh, law rooms would be good to have. I don't know if I can do law rooms though. I'm pretty sure my catalytic rooms are very limited. Uh, cosmic. Let's try that. Can I do cosmic energy? I think I can. 38. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can do chaos room. Okay. Got the power of the guardian. Can you do that? 39. Let's go. This is such a good mini game for XP. Wow. Uh, how are we on runes? Let's go air. 
so far we're pretty even i think i kind of want to try and do that alternate between uh catalytic and elemental depending on what's there maybe actually maybe i should do more if it's elemental i should do the elemental because i'll have more opportunity to actually complete it all right now we mine until we wait for a portal really all we can do Hey, there it is. Oh, can I make it to the law portal? Actually, I can't craft law runes. Never mind. Uh, I can craft chaos runes, though. Ooh, we got a little talisman. We can go ahead and use that. Forty one room crafting to the board. the next rune I could mine here um let's see the so 44 nature 54 law 65 death that blood at 77 uh, I need to be looking at elemental runes either way though Ooh. That's not good. Hopefully we can close the portal fast. Completing this game is a task. Completing it multiple times is multiple tasks. So I hope that we don't have to worry about too many more setbacks. All right, what element? Earth? All right, we'll take it. gonna keep mining a little bit more i'd like a little more room to work or a little more uh charge to work with uh yep Cal catalinic is next 100 percent I'm liking the times five point multiplier that I have. It uh, makes this game a lot easier. Twenty six, and then I'll do it. Actually, twenty seven, then I'll do it. All right, I'm doing it. 
Hopefully this wasn't a mistake and I could do this and still get the uh, portal. All right, air room. Wait, now we're going catalytic. Looks like it's body room this time. Though unfortunate, body rooms are probably one of the least useful rooms in the game. We got a portal. Where is it? Over there? Okay. Lower body rooms? Nah, just body rooms. They they just aren't that useful. They really only ever get a use whenever you're trying to build a uh like a restoration pool in your house. But I don't have access to all of the materials for a restoration pool, so body rooms are pretty much worthless to me right now Ooh, nature runes are open though that'll give me the most xp but fire runes are probably what's needed yeah let's do fire runes Will they at some point not be worthless? During the league, they will be always worthless. Um, on the main account, they'll be useful, but right now, not really. All right, 44, I can craft nature room. I'm gonna go ahead and craft and uh, dump whatever's left. Uh, mine runes need a little bit more of a kick, so we'll go that way. Okay, so that should give us 25 pulls, I think. Oh no, just two pulls, it looks like. We got a nature talisman, that's funny. Okay. Um, all right. Doing this for a few hours is not really what I want to do right now. This is good. This will be a good thing to do off stream, but not while I'm currently streaming. Um, Let's go and kill some chaos druids, I think. be able to be done but what about western province desert oh i could possibly do the easy desert not uh that one though but click culture Oh, the f oh, I did do that. Okay. Um, diaries might just take too long overall. Actually, this one might be quick. Catch a mackerel. We can do Kandarin. Kandarin actually might be super fast. Yeah, let's do that. 
let's do the Candorid Diaries. Uh, okay, so in that case, we're gonna tool Leprechaun our way over to Canifus. Not Canifus, Catherine. Oh, these died. Okay. May as well do a little bit of farming while we're here. And we need to catch mackerel anyway. I can't remember what a mackerel is. I think that's bait fishing. Oh, right. I was going to try Isle of Souls for Ranar. We'll try this really quick for... Uh, well, at least do this to try and get attack up to 60. The Sea Dibber. What else? All the money because I need to buy spade. Mackerel's a kind of morsel. Yeah, true. Mackerel. Raw mackerel. Where get? Where get raw mackerel? Big net. Okay, so I need a big net for that. Pick our herblor XP really quick and also get our farming XP taken care of. Okay. I'm gonna look up farming and see when Ranar's. Uh, Ranar's gonna unlock. Harpoon big net. Hopefully this was quick because I have really high fishing. That's fast. Oh, there's a mackerel. But then I think I have to cook both the mackerel and the bass, so I'm just gonna do that anyway. Easy and a medium task done. Uh, I don't think I need the big net anymore. If I do, I know where to get one. Okay. Next up in the Candorin Diary, buy a candle. Okay. Next. Uh, collect five flags. Seeds, I think I can do that. Uh, pet fish, that's right. Supplies to seek fish for a lot. Okay. Um, if I remember right, I think I need seaweed for this.
there any seaweed over here? Nope. I think it gets seaweed literally by fishing. Okay. My net's still on the floor. I think it is. I might. Yeah, I gotta fish until I get a seaweed. Wherever my net went. Oh, it already despawned. Wow, that was fast. Okay. Wait, I can buy a seaweed over here, can I? For the crew member? Yeah, they sell seaweed. Okay, we're fine. Then you seaweed in your bowl, you fill the bowl with water, stick the seaweed in the water, and then I can buy a pet. Oh, I need a small net. Do you have a fishing pole I can buy? No, I have to make one? Alright. I think we'll grab that task for last then, so it seems like it is the one that is being a, the most painful. If I also need these two, and then we're gonna turn that into a fish bowl. In the meantime, we're gonna pick five black. Another task done. I had to play the organ. I need to double check to make sure I have jute seeds. I'm pretty sure I do. Okay. I'm going to have to go to Draenor to get some. That is a okay. I can at least go to the Elemental Workshop and do this part. I need a pickaxe. And may as well grab the glass bowing pipe while I'm here too. Uh, glass bowing pipe pickaxe. Okay. Oh, do I need to get the book? Okay. down another one another one didn't mean to barrage but we did wait can I not oh I can't do it on that furnace weird okay And that's another task. Let's head back top side. Okay, then we need to go to the pull truck, do that shortcut, have tea with Galahad. Uh oh, buy stew and talk to Sherlock. Yeah. 
like a stew. Alright, that's stew done. Now I need to share tea with Galahad and cross a coal truck, talk to Sherlock, and then uh, at some point make this a stew of fish bowl. I might go to Lumbridge for that. The closest furnace I could think of. Oh no, I could go to Edgeville. And then the last thing we do is plant food there. And while we're in Draenor, we give the food market guard. Galahad, there he is, Galahad. That, do that. Not wrong, but can. Yeah, okay. Now we do this shortcut. Head, head build. There we go. Okay, and now we head to uh, this way. I wish there was like a farming path in Lumbridge or something. Make things very easy. Is it where I have to do two? Hold on. Pass. Need a drain or guard to do a drain or. I can't talk. Is the spark guard? Is it the prison guard that I have to go to? Where are we feeding to? Not that guy. Can't talk to him either. Friendly Forester. Green or dark.
What the heck? There's a guy in this tree? Okay, that's new. I didn't notice that that was the thing. Okay. Wow. That's super well hidden. All right, Olivia, I need to see. Okay. Uh, now we put a leprechaun ourselves. North rubber's wood. And let's grab our farm stuff. Be, and I think this furlock are the last path. Hey, Ray! I'll buy a fish. Get a fish by found. Six. Tiny net. And there we go. I now have a pet fish. So it wasn't the small net I needed. It was a tiny net. I need to click back my farm. Hey, what up, Corey? Hope you're having a good evening. We're just doing some achievement diaries right now to try and get attack up because I don't really feel like punching things. I'd much rather do larger, more elaborate tasks, I guess. Um, okay. Here All right, and there we go. We've completed the Canterin Diary. Glad to see the thousand task. Uh, where is the guy? I always forget. Oh, he's literally right by the teleport camera area. Cool. There you are, the wedge. Okay, and attack, please six. 58. Not quite. And that is going to eat more lamps if I keep using my easy gears on those. So, no more on that front. Let's go ahead and see if my Ranar theory is going to work out. Um, I need a lockpick. Where actually do I need a lockpick? Can be used to help. I do not need it. And the idols done. Over by dragon. Gonna get an anti dragon. And food. All right. Uh, to Padawa. So it's one in twenty. We'll see if we can get like a decent amount of Ranars. Ideally, I want fifty because that'll give me a good base of prayer potion and make life a lot less stress. Plus, I'd also let me feel comfortable enough to try and take on Dad. So that's another bump. Unfortunately, this dungeon is kind of far. Wait, BJP. I can't use that fairy ring. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Teleport. Fairy ring. B, J, B. Boom. Whisk me away to a much faster area. The craziest part about this too, this is, uh, this is an area that is just available with Mistelin. And I think a lot of people really slept on this island. There's a lot of really good stuff here. Like this cave, it's got blue dragons in it. Like this is a great place to go to get some dragon bones if you need some. This is also where Konar assigned me a, a dragon tab, which is why I know that there are dragons. It's also demons apparently, oh God. Fire giants, okay. Yep, there's the blue dragon. Oh, and then steel dragon. Right, forgot about those. All right, and now we live here for a little bit. Ooh, box trap, okay. That ran our help does the bomb. Rupees, okay. Crafting XP, we'll take that. This will pick X. That's an upgrade. This is why we brought bankers now. Nature rune, hell yeah. Oh, uh, medium blue scroll. Um, the Guam are a one in ten. there that's another guam not but guam that was a ranar did it drop a ranar no i just lost it okay valuable lesson learned uh let's see it the guam Ranars right here. Glom could drop. Temporal group key. That was up. Good time. Go here. Okay. Hey, Adam and Scimitar. So now we have an uh, actual, like, decent item to trade them back. So I can get all four of the main gemstones here. So Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, and Diamond. That's another Ranar. Let's go. My runes are going to be a drop. Like. Bird snares. Okay. Another Ranar. Okay. Oh, so it only gives you one Ranar anyway. So it didn't matter. Okay. 
Two Randars so far, though. Really, really good odds. For three Randars overall. How much points do you give? 90 to 190? Okay. Wonder what that's mainly been dropping. Up oh, there we go. Uh Guam drop. Get noted. Uh you get drop. Get Didn't mean to lay the birds there. Mantle the birds. Uh, we'll drop one, keep one, drop the axe, drop this, and then absolutely no. So three down. Not a bad mess. Yeah, there are only three herbs that I can drop, and Ranars are one of them. It pains me seeing someone drop a Ranar. Can I just spam flip this chest? Oh, I sure can. Okay. Found a new AFK thing. Let's go through one more inventory of these and then we'll go kill some chaos druid i think chaos druid might just be the best overall Okay, so that's that was a worthwhile little experiment. We've got three Ranars off that, plus a few other goodies. Um, let's go kill Chaos Druids, and I think the best place for that is going to be Ganon. So let's Heli there. Teleport, and go Fairy Ring, Ganon. And then we'll quickly bank at the bank. And head over to the agility dungeon. I do need a slashy weapon, so I think I'll keep the Adam and Tibicar with me for right now. Is there a task for no, there's not. Actually, maybe I'll spend the first few kills doing just uh, scimitar grinding, and then after that, get rid of the steel pickaxe. Thank God, good rid of uh, the medium box right here. We haven't done a medium yet. Okay, there we go. And Ranar, Lanthanine, go there. How many Ranars are we currently at? Eight. So now we're at 11. Okay. 
Getting closer, getting closer. Uh, let's keep these here, because why not? Anti Dragon Shield. Why? I guess I. Oh, I got rid of Bank Place. That's weird. Didn't mean to do that. No wonder why things seem to be a little shuffled around. Okay. Oh, and yep, I already have a slash weapon with Scimitar. Cool. Off to train some attack level. Yeah, this isn't as much of a task heavy day as I thought it was going to be, which is fine. Sometimes you kind of just need to sit back and train some stats up and gather some materials. And this is one of those days. Once I get farming up, it'll be a lot better. But I don't think I'll have a good way to train farming until I get Tithe Farm unlocked. Then at that point, things will just go crazy. Uh, but I could maybe keep a couple acorns or a couple seeds from my next birdhouse run and plant those. That'll probably be one of the faster ways to level farming, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, so there is a task to kill Salar and the Twisted. So I'm going to go do that really quick. Also because it gives a, um, a lock pick right here. So now I have easy access to Chaos Ruin. First adventure, there's Salarin. Ah. Why can my attacks not kill or hurt you? Do I have to kill your buddy? Okay, let's freeze you and look you up then. You can only be damaged by strike spells, which I do not have any on. Okay, good to know. That means I'll have to come back later. And that's just the, yeah, I think that's just like the early tier too. Combat feels really slow with this. <laughs> Just the level 60. Once we hit 60, we can switch to some more fast. But until then, we're just looking for basically ran our drops or higher. It looked like Branars. That's right, I have Branars highlighted. So once one drops, we'll know. Ooh, Snapegrass. We do need that. Oh, I just realized. Do we have a reliable resource for Snapegrass? Oh, here it. We'll take those. The tribesmen drop them fairly regularly. Oh, see. Hosidius has some spawn, but we don't have Hosidius yet. 
Yeah, it's basically the plant, uh, which requires six to one farming. Okay. Yeah, farming is going to be way more important to start leveling. I need to start herbing, or I say I need to start lamping farming now. Is first trap already done? The tourist trap is already done, so we can make darts. Fifty nine attack, let's go. And our first ran arc. How many? Oh, 60 druid. Okay, this will take a second. So with 910 points until the next relic and 59 areas to pass till the next area, I wonder what will happen first, another relic or foreign? I honestly feel like it genuinely is a toss up. It's tough to say. more damage than that. Huh. Only one Ranar so far. Maybe the chest was actually going to be much faster. We'll still at least keep here until we get uh, our 60 attack though. 35 more druids and we're going through this pretty quick. Then for Snape Graph. Um Looks like we'll need to kill some tribe then.
Hopefully that won't take too long. They drop it pretty regularly according to their shape. And we only need just like 25. I think is all I will need. What's preventing me from hitting base 30? Is it just farming? Looks like it. Okay. We'll do something to bump farming here pretty soon then. Man, Runecrafting shot up though with Guardians of the Rift. Again, it's going to be very, very good for just room crafting training in general. All right, 11 more kills. And 60 attack. Let's go. Beautiful. We're pretty much good to go now uh, on attack. There will be another grind that we have to do to get up to, I think, what is 75 for the fang? Eighty-two for the bank. So we'll need to get up to eighty-two at some point. Uh, but for right now, sixty is perfect. Um, uh, go ahead, pause it. Need to drop. Uh, okay. Now we get this stuff. I can't wear the shield yet. But I can at least wear the sword. Cool. And then the dragon scimitar is going to be a stronger melee weapon. So that's good to know. Uh, we also got two casts and one on that one here. So that's great to see. Um, go ahead and get that back here. We need our staff fire. We also need air rune. And mind rune. But good, good. I still have some. Let's get the crystal memories back as well as the banker's note and our money. All right, and let's go kill. Oh, I need lockpick, and let's go kill Stalar and the Swiss really quick. Up, oh, I need the grimoire. Okay, and we are defensive cast fire strike. Yay! Apparently that's an elite task. Uh, where did Salarin go? Are people immediately claiming him? No? 
All right, I'll tell. I gave ample time for people to look at this. All right, there we go. Now he's dead. And we can go back to ice first. I do want to get my defense up a little bit more because the Rangers are going to be hitting pretty hard. And I don't really have a good off defensive offhand other than the anti dragon shield. Um, so, along with blood spells, let's get ranged up. And to do this, or not ranged up, defense up. And to do this, we're just going to kill, or we're going to finish off our Slayer task that we have. The very easy and simple pain free way which is grabbing this pray and hope to god that I'm fine uh okay yeah I have everything I need okay let's is there a better way to get to that spot? Ah, not really, unfortunately. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just head to big in, uh, big insect queen and then we'll carpet. And then our closest way to get to an altar, what would that be? Fast teleport to an altar. Would be Arty Cape. Yeah, we're gonna bring in the Arty Cloak. That makes the most sense right now as a way to teleport out. Okay, cool. Um, let's bypass. It's also a one-click teleport too, so we don't gotta worry about any menuing. Okay, good. Travel. Bedivin camp. And then beyond. Under arrest, I don't care. We're going in here. You know what? I could actually probably infinitely regain health if I just stick to uh blood spells. drop ran ours at a rate of one oh one and one oh six okay so they do but it takes them you know what let's actually go over here get these guys over here I just fill it right here and this be a good spot with this guy
Where'd that other bandit spawn? Oh, they both spawned in there. Okay. So this is where the solo spawn. I'm gonna see if going in here will be a little bit easier to get. Yeah, let's go like right here. There we go. And then for spell, we'll just do blood. Infinite healing. There we go. Good strap. Maybe. We'll see. When everybody attacks me all at once, it gets a little dicey. Hey, 71 combat. Nice. And 58 defense. Good, good. Yeah, blood spells are the way to go here. I'm not dying. Especially barrages. Yeah. That's the way to go. Alright, how many kills still defense? So 16 kills, still 59 defense. And then we still need to get to uh, 60 defense. Have yet to see any uh Ranar drop they are rare so i should really only be expecting one for this task if everything is on rate Seventy-five magic. Let's go. When do we get ice barrage? So eighty is blood blitz. Ninety-two is blood barrage. Okay. So we still got a ways to go. Still though, having blood burst on during fight caves is gonna be immensely helpful. Plus 53 Slayers, not a bad number to be at. Here at least, no Renar. Nice, good, big numbers. Love to see him. All right, there's a defense level. So we need 20 more kills and then we can start wearing Dragon and Obsidian. Then I probably should go and... Oh, I need to kill the deranged archaeologist pretty soon to get the rune crossbow limb.
they need to find a way to upkeep uh, Addy Bolt. I guess I could just make them. There will probably be ways to get adamant bars, so just making them wouldn't be a bad option. Oh, there's a Ranar. Let's go, first Ranar. Oh, there's a second Ranar. <gasps> we are profiting Ranars. I mean, I'd hope we are. We're not spending Ranar. Sixty-three HP. Let's go. Seventy-two combat. Yeah, we're flying through levels pretty quickly here. <laughs> Being toxic to you, I am in, in my clan chat. Not on my watch. <laughs> we'll just be super nice to him. is that this guy gets himself in, into a lot of situations where he ends up being like the like the uh the butt end of the joke for lack of a better term but every single time they walk right into it <laughs> also hell yes 60 defense we can wear that obby shield now and we also have access to dragon stuff Let's finish off the Slayer task. And I think what I might do um, is head back to that chest and get some more uh, Snape grass. Because I definitely want melee to be kind of like my secondary set. Because I'm not going to have a good ranged option ever. Melee will be my best option between melee and range. So, because range, the best option, the best weapon I will ever get in my arsenal with a range setup right now is a rune crossbow. That is, that is the peak. And then after that, with Chambers of Zeric, Twisted Bow. And a uh, Dragon Hunter crossbow. That's it. So... Um, yeah, I think the obsidian weaponry, especially once I get the fang, um, that is going to be a much better melee option and range won't pull ahead of melee until I get, uh, full base Missouri or full blessed dehyde, honestly, and, uh, full blessed dehyde plus, uh, 
Oh, what's it called? Or a uh, full base Masori. I'm not sure which one's better. I think the Dehyde's better. But we'll see. I'm most likely going to be getting Masori as a part of my uh, Shadow Grind anyway. This is one of the best AFK Slayer tasks for the League. It's just everything melts and you get a whole bunch of levels. We might hit that level uh, 75 combat here pretty soon. Seven Slayer. Oh, task is done. Okay, we can get out of here. All right, good task. Let us see what the next task is. And then we'll go Steve again. All right, Steve, please be nice. Please be nice to me today. Be like Black Demon for something. Give me a reason to go kill Demonic. Harpy Bug Swarm. Alright, boy. You really had to do it to me like that, huh? In Steve's defense, holding a lit Harpy Bug Lantern is a task. But I'm going to do that task and then skip. Because <laughs> Harpy Bug Swarm, that's not worth it. That's not going to be fun to kill. Oh, I realized I have access to abyssal weapons too. I completely forgot about the whip. All right, 14 Ranars, almost to a full inventory. Uh, dump these two, get your box back, light, hold, stuff. Get rid of Yeah, Slayer right now, literally the only purpose that Slayer is going to be serving for me is just XP. Uh, there's only one Slayer drop that I care about. I guess two. No. No, there's one Slayer drop that I care about. And that is the Occult Necklace. Everything else, really don't care. Because I can't get to it. Um, the Abyssal Demons will be nice, but I'm going to have a Fang. Uh, rewards. Task, cancel, confirm, good. Next. Ogres. Okay, we can we can keep that as our task. Um, let's head back to Isle of Souls. And then we'll do... Who actually... Yeah, let's head back to Isle of Souls. Stay still. No, no, no. Actually, yeah. Edgel first to hit that bank. God, I'm so scatterbrained right now. Isla Souls. Get more Ranars. 
preferably like n we'll do an ogre task we'll get another like n ranars then we kill tribesmen okay um i need anti-dragon this goes with me this doesn't do If we get a dark chest, dude, that'd be pretty cool. Are you winning? Uh, kinda. We're we're preparing to do one of the bigger PVM challenges. I just need a way to restore my prayer points, and I don't really have a way right now. So, we're just farming up a whole bunch of supplies. But we're getting closer to winning, and that's the important part. I should get a Fury before I go into the fight cave. Been doing the good old silent lurk? Hell yeah. I appreciate you being here, Ash. Game screen splashes very little on its size. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, a game that is easy to watch to the point where it's almost a little too easy to watch. Uh, it definitely has its lulls, but uh, overall, this is a super great game to just have in the background while you do stuff. Hey, our first diamond drop. Chest. Dark mode friendly. Yeah. At least this area is. There are certainly a few places that are not dark mode friendly at all. Also, that's a Ranar. We're good. I think if I get 10 Ranars, I'll be good to send one attack. Uh, those are qualms dang even lanta times i'm kind of debating whether or not i want to keep those they're not really all that useful did that diamond go to the ground it did not Uh, I can't wait until I can start farming my own Ranars. That way we at least don't have to do this as much. We'll still have to do it. It just won't be as painful.
Uh, you go here, you go here, you go here, you go here, everybody else. The gems are nice. Little bonus XP. I have a method that I'm going to be taking to get the XP that I need for crafting. Um, actually, I'm kind of realizing. What do I need to enchant obsidian? Oh, it's 87. Okay, a fury before fight caves may not be possible then. But a glory. Glory requires 80 crafting, and I'm currently at what? 53? Is there any place that sells uncut rubies? Places that sell for so cool. Okay. So it looks like that emerald might be my way to go. The one emerald is six, seven and a half. Sapphire is fifth. Yep, so we're going emeralds all the way up to. 99 basically Not really another crafting method. That'll be faster than that Hey, that's another Ranar Let's go uh. Yes no. More rubies, good. Maybe I'm looking at this the wrong way. Is there a prayer potion drop? Okay. Maniacal, Mon Maniacal monkey archer. Maniacal monkeys. Okay, so I could go there for one dose drop. That is going to require some prayer potion investment though. Uh, let's see. Nowhere for your two drop. I was gonna drop the lamp that I'm not worth it. Prayer potion three. Uh, deranged archaeologist. I do need to kill him anyway. Push four. Wyvern. Okay. 
Yeah, it looks like what we're gonna need to do then, if this doesn't work out, we're gonna make what we have into prayer potions. And then we're going to go to the Monkey Madness Tunnel and see if we can get some prayer potions stock up there. Okay, yeah, after this, we're gonna go ahead and kill some for a bunch of snake grass, and we're going to raid the Maniacal Monkey for prayer post. Plus, also, that'll be really good to get some uh, defensive magic XP before we go fight Chad. go to was it ckr l4 ckr yep now to kill tribes people till we get a lot of stuff uh how much snake brass do we need let's get like 25 snake brass goes some right here they made the mistake of being here grimy snake weed that's not safe snake grass snake weed what is that even for Hey, snake grass, let's go. Import route. Actually, those are good too. Where is the biggest concentration of tribe people that I can kill? I feel like there are hardly any, though I've also heard that there is a cauldron over by Brimhaven. 
that could have sunk. Let's check it out. Yep, there's the cauldron. And, oh yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. This is where you farm. Ooh, super anti poison actually. That that'll be good to have. Ooh, scroll box. Let's go. Ooh, almost 75 combat. Let's go. There's another snake grass. They aren't dropping as common as I hope. There might be, yeah, one in seven. Oh yeah, I guess we actually are kind of on, right? Okay. That's why these guys dropped uh, anti-poise. Dang, now we're getting all the scroll boxes. <laughs> Might have to do some of those really quick.
All right, three more snake grass, and then we're out of here. Or three more limp orb boots. Whatever combination they come in. And then, just so we can take a little break from the combat, we'll go do all these uh, medium clues that we've been gathering. That's another state press. All right, that's all the snake grass that I really want to get. Okay, uh, I think I need to go to Alfred Grimm and uh, at some point to or Barbarian Outpost. In fact, I think I have that teleport unlocked. Let's see if I can get there. Need to do the tutorial. Ah, uh, rip. Okay. Alright, well, let's go ahead and bank then. Then we can see what kind of trouble we can get into here. What is the fast teleport to a bank off of the ferry room? For a spirit tree? Or a tool leprechaun? Would it be. Probably honestly would just be Edville. Out of my current options that I have, Edville Bank is probably the closest. Okay, I want to get into Moral Wreck. So let's, uh, let's get, let's finish the clues, then we'll get geared up for Monkey Madness Tunnel. Seven medium scroll boxes. Let's see where it takes us. Go to Edmund in Hardy. Fastest telly there would be. Uh. Ooh, Leprechaun, it looks like. Uh, teleport. Cool Leprechaun. Over to North of Hardy. Then I can use the shortcut.
Watch me get ranger boots in leagues. That'd be nuts. I really hope that wouldn't uh, jinx the luck on this account. That'd be very unfortunate. Three. Good. Next will. West of Freedom Stronghold. So we're just gonna teleport here. North of the pen with the Okay, I see. Fishing platform, okay. Not desert. Okay, Tree Gnome Stronghold. West of Grand Tree, nearest swamp. Okay. Uh, teleport. Spirit Tree Strong. Maple Longbow, Green Beehive Chaps, Iron Bed Helm. Green Beehive Chaps. I think I can get those from the Champion Guild. Maple Longbow should be easy. I can get that from the Rangers Guild. I also may as well get the Maple Shortbow to get the task taken care of. And Iron Med Helm, I can just make. The medium stashes are... Oh, right, can I make them? 42, not quite yet. Okay. So we'll have to deal with that then. Do you sell green beehide? Thought you would. Okay. Uh, okay, willow... Oh, do maples have to be made? Wow, funny enough. That's so weird. Uh, apparently Varrock has it, but uh, Varrock has it, but the Ranger Guild doesn't. That's so bizarre. Wonder why that is. Okay, Green Dehyde Tap still be the same place. The Iron Bad Helm. Let's grab the stuff for right now. Uh, hammer, iron, okay. Or isn't it just one item? Oh, no. 
Hey, J Biz, what's up? Hope you're having a good night. Uh, one bad house. Good. Hey, nice, mythic level. Uh, okay. Give me a maple, short bow, and long bow. Get that task taken care of. Took me long enough. And now we just need green dehyde bat. We're doing some medium clues right now, uh, trying to get through the uh, seven that I got earlier today as a part of uh, Ranar hunting and getting that trained up. Are you the person? No. You're the person. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I do have 40 rank. Have there be... You can teleport right to... Uh, shrug the... No. And Artie Zookeeper. Okay. Hi, Endorp. Uh, no, not too much. We got just a lot more potion making supplies. Um, in trying to get a bunch of snake grass, I ended up getting like a ton of medium scroll box. Uh, so we're just knocking out each of the uh, medium scrolls right now. Make uh make life a little bit more exciting. Break up the grind a little bit more. Cause right after this we're heading to Monkey Madness Tunnels, and that that may take a little bit of time for me to get all of the prayer potions that I want. Cause like if the if the monkey madness tunnels are going to really be as good as I think they are, um we can just stockpile like five hundred. Uh we could just stockpile like 500 prayer potions and never have to worry about prayer potions again actually this is going to be faster than teleport run over here and take the bow All right, bud, what do you want from me? The clue scroll. And that is Rain or Bang. Okay. I need to time whether or not that teleport or the fairy ring to wizard's tower is a fast teleport. Because my gut says wizard tower, but I don't know. It has to be like within a couple seconds of each other. This one definitely was wizard tower. That was definitely the closer option. Okay. Uh, 
Good to see that we're already like right there. Need to bring a rope. Okay. While I'm there, I should talk to the guy to get the Vile Smasher thing turned on. I don't like having my inventory cluttered up with a whole bunch of vials. really quick so we can mitigate teleport to barbarian pistol and save some time. I guess I did have a game necklace but this will be better for just resource saving. Hey rubber duck what's up? I'm doing well it's been a minute. Hope, hope you're doing well as well. We're just going through and doing some leaks content. Actually, I'm realizing now the game's necklace was just a better option. Either way, I won't bother with the tutorial. I still need to talk to the guy, though, and get my vials so unsmashed. Or no, get the vials smashed. Because they're currently unsmashed, and I don't want that. Uh, talk to Barbarian Guard, I guess? Uh, I want to come through the gate. Oh, I still have to do the bar crawl. What is already done? Rising Sun, Rusty Anchor. Okay, I can still finish the bar crawl. We'll keep that in mind. Switch schools and job, went back to another school, but four minutes for your house, paying for your still custodian, your title is second shift and teacher now, you have a girlfriend. Hey, awesome. Oh, it's, uh, it's a lot going on. Congratulations. New job, and uh, sounds like that uh, the girlfriend is great too, so that's, that's fantastic for you. I'm really happy for you. Definitely sounds like a new chapter. Is your first leaks nice this is the furthest i've gotten in the league i tried shattered relics a little bit but got kind of bored a little quick uh but this i've been much more invested into uh green tea high tap ring of cooling fifth roll bed oh. okay so we already have the chap ring of dueling will be easy mithril med helm we can buy from a shop i think Let me find that. Yes, the helmet shop does sell one. Good. Okay, grab some first. Uh, I'm bar you get some more wrinkles. A grimoire. Okay. All right, there's the dueling ring done. Good. Grand D head taps are in here. And then the Mithra helmet down here. Your buddy got you into it? Yeah, it's super fun. I wish they, uh, I wish they did them more often. It definitely, it, it used to be a yearly thing. And then after Shattered Relics, it was like a, a two year gap before this one. So I, I hope they understand that people like leagues and they should do leagues more. 
I'd even go so far to say, which it, it is going to be a little bit of an unpopular opinion to some, um, but I would not be opposed to them just no longer doing dead man mode and instead only doing leagues. Dead man, I feel like, is uh, takes a lot more resources from the game for an event that not a lot of people really care about because the PvP scene is pretty niche in uh old school there's not a lot of people in it so i i prefer they do more leagues than they do dead man modes but that's just me what relics are you uh pick how far in are you like fast leveling and teleporting, you're saving the tele home animation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the home tele animations are great. Okay, good. Next clue uh, west of Banana Plantation. I'm already so close to it, but it would be faster for me to likely teleport to here. Not to there. I've already lost the time I was gonna save. Let's go. I've got endless harvest, fairy flight, banknote. Nice. Yeah, you can see my little relic list going on right here. I've got trickster, fairy flight, banknote, superior sorcerer, and treasure speaker. What uh, what regions are you taking? I'm taking uh, Kandoran, Desert, and Zaya. Haven't unlocked Zaya yet, but we're close. Though it is definitely looking like I'm getting another relic before I'm getting Zaya unlocked. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. I didn't need to go down here. I need to go this way. Heaviest of my 6k points. I've been playing for a bit. This count's currently been going for 28 hours, so I'd hope I'd have this much points by this point. Uh, blue boots, hard leather body, silver six. Hard leather body, huh? Hard leather body. Can I buy you? Ranging guild. Let's go there first. Uh, lock Port Serum, go to Lumbridge, Barak, Naramja. You already started day, started day one, so you're ahead of me. Oh, okay. You, so you unlock Port Serum. So you got Asgarnia then? Okay. Asgarnia is a good region. It was it was a really hard decision uh, for me between Kandoran and Asgarnia. But Kandoran is better for a magic build. So Kandoran is what I picked. Uh, hard leather body, good. Now I need to get blue boots, so that's probably no. Then a silver sickle. I think I need to go to Alcaric for that one because I don't have the sickle. Oh, you want a harpoon? Oh, okay. Awesome. Uh, you could have probably bought a harpoon in uh, Shiloh Village. Because there's a fishing store there, too. Yeah, luckily Shiloh's autocomplete. Yeah. Yeah, thank God for that. I'm glad we don't have to do that quest. That's... That's one of my least favorite quests. It's just long. It's just long and not a lot happens in it. Doesn't make that much sense. Not that great of a quest. Uh, 
just pickle and bowl. Okay, now we need silver ore and we can get this done. Then time to head back to Catherine. Fishing rod of deaths. Uh. Oh yeah, you're right. They don't sell it. That's crazy. It's only sold uh, Kandarin, Fremenic, Asgarnia, or uh, Desert, or Koran. Okay. You could have picked really any region and gotten uh, got when you needed. Hindsight's 2020, though. It's so easy to be like, oh, I should have done this in a league. Do I not have silver? Wow, that's surprising. Okay, let's go get some. Grab my pickaxe. There we go. I got a Zorn had silver ore. Saved up 30 mil on your actual account. Nice, nice. Healthy green cash stack. We love to see it. Got to teleport anyways. May as well just tell him Pally. Got a few skills at 72. Uh, I've got a 99 already with thieving, but that just comes with the territory of Trickster. Trickster is basically a guaranteed 99 thieving in three hours if you pick Andorin. Also should talk to Auto God Bless about barbarian fishing so we can get that started. So I'm gonna bring some feathers too. Feather. Where's my game thing? There it is. Being. Uh. 
Okay, I think I just gotta do this really quick to unlock the task. Also, I think this is a, uh, a league task too. Oh, it's not, okay. Talk to Otto, cutting those harpoons. Okay, and that means I also have that taken care of too. Okay, cool. So we are good to go in terms of getting barbarian skills taken care of. Where are we going again? Uh, Ranger Guild. Awesome. Teleport. Cool Leprechaun. North of Bard. You have stronghold security? Yeah. Uh, it's three boosts now. You took all three in your friend's set and cook and guild. Make a hundred pies. Gets you like 80 points uh, as a hard task. Oh, really? Okay. I'll have to keep that one on my radar. Yeah, apple pies probably would be the best one to make. Uh, but yeah, I, I entered the cooking guild. I did all four floors of the stronghold. And uh, I just got the fancy boots, put them on for the task, and then just immediately dropped them. Because they, I, I've got the trickster boots. So no reason to wear the fancy boots at all for me. Even for the, uh, even for the style points. Okay, we need to go to the Starfight Pit. Hopefully I do not need to have already unlocked this shortcut in order to use it. Um, that'd be really stinky if that was the case, because that would mean this clue is not doable. Unless I pick this Garnia, which at this point I'm not doing. It is not worth it in any way for me to pick as Garni at this point. Oh, there's red spider eggs over here. Good to know. Also, the museum quiz task for Verac and Lumberage. Yeah, that that was so nice getting up the what was it, 25 Slayer and Hunter instantly? Such a good task. Okay. Now we go down. I keep getting like a lot of medium tasks done. What am I? How close am I to finishing Karamja? Uh, Taibo one I trio and 65 fishing and 27 farming. That's not bad. It'll take me a minute to get there, but that's not bad. It'd be way worse. I'm also realizing too that, uh, that cook a hundred pies task is very much a task that assumed you took a uh, banker's note. Doing that with fire sales seems kind of not good. Uh, oh, back to auto. Uh, and I did not bring a crystal of memories. That's on me. Cause I'm pretty sure that would have taken me right back to auto. Line north of the cold truck. Sounds like it's the McGrubber's wood uh, teleport. Yep, there it is.
Man, there's a lot of willow trees out here. Oh, I thought that was the last clue. Okay, this is the last clue. Uh, Ranger Guild. Gone to the Ranger Guild a lot this stream. All right, there is all of that done. Let's go to Castle Wars to really quickly bank. And let's see what we get from our casket here. Okay, so. We got a Bandos Cloak. Let's go. Amulet with Power. Red Headband. I think that Amulet with Power is going to be a really good overall amulet to have. Excellent. Okay, so yeah, got got some pretty good stuff from that. Uh, next clue, Addy Heraldic, Ancient Stole, Addy Pickaxe. Let's go. That's an upgrade. Uh, Black Elegant Shirt and Leprechaun Hat. Okay, runes. Oh, we got a Wolf Cloak. We got one of the capes. Let's go. And another two amulets of power. Uh, let's go ahead and. Throw some stuff in some tab here. Swordfish. Oh my god, swordfish, good. Addy pickaxe, goodbye mithril pickaxe. Then these two we can just drop. Thank you for the congrats on the cake. All right, a little bit more. Bucket home, let's go. Oh, we got a Zamorak miter, okay. And a white boater. Uh, Sarah Page, that's useless. Same with the Morton Teleports. Oh, we got Ranger's Boots! Let's go! No way! <laughs> okay, we also got a scroll box, too, for a Master Scroll. Okay. Wow, that's awesome. Oh my god, I'm so happy we got Ranger's Boots. That's insanely rare. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, well, we got our best in slot boots now. Um, hell yes. You go into uh, this tab. Let's go ahead and just dump all of our useful stuff really quick. Zabrak, Ryder, you all go here. God, that's nuts. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. I The funniest part is, is that I actually did have a feeling that Ranger's boots were going to happen. Hey, thank you very much for the raid. Uh, it's Muda. Welcome in. Welcome in, raiders. My name is Video Freak. I am uh, a cape enthusiast. I like collecting capes in RuneScape. Uh, and so I, I appreciate the raid and stick around and hang out. We're about to go to Maniacal Monkeys right now to smuggle out some prayer potions. Because uh, they have extremely common drops of prayer potions there. And I thought that that would be a very easy way to uh, get our supply ready for Jad. I do want to send a Jad attempt tonight. 
So we'll see how things go. Also, uh, by the way, I am multi-streaming to YouTube and Twitch. So if you see me respond to a message that you do not see in chat, just assume it was from the other platform. Ooh, I need 38 herb lore. Oh God. How did I not have the herb lore level for this? Okay. Uh, good thing we have Guams. Hopefully this will get us the levels that we need. Okay, Guam potion. Good. There we go. Herblor. Oh god, we're gonna need to do some herblor training, aren't we? Well, that's a little roadblock I was not expecting. We are four levels off from being able to make uh, the potions that we need to. Do we have pyramid? Hmm. Uh, what's a good way to get herblor? Can I make super attack? I cannot. Okay. I have to completely replay my route now. Um. Maybe we just go back and kill some Chaos Druids for some Herblore supplies? We really just need Blom. We don't have any Terramans, right? Yeah, we don't. Um. Yep. Uh, we have to head back to kill some more Chaos Druids. Hopefully this will not take too long. I always forget about level requirements because I never have to think about them. Uh, lockpick, lock. Where did my lockpick go? I just had one. There it is. Okay, teleport, animal. And off to slaughter some unsuspecting chaos crew. While we're running, I'm gonna double check my bank deck to see if I haven't missed anything. Hear it, yeah, all these are unusable. Ooh, Hairlanders actually might be a good thing to stockpile too because we have chocolates. So we can make energy potions. Okay, so we got two things to collect. We got Hairlanders and Guam. And Ranars too, of course. But Hairlanders and Guam is more important. Because those that'll be our fastest way to get quick uh, XP. Oh, let's, let's get my spell ready. I probably don't even need too many. Oh, hey, level 75 combat. Let's go. Got another task done. Good, Hairlander. We'll take that. Guam, good. Can't believe I'm saying good for Guams, but we do need them.
Marantils will clean then drop. Because getting unicorn horns right now is going to be a bit of a bane. Mithril bolts not really worthwhile. Law runes, okay. These guys aren't dropping the herbs I need. They're hardly dropping any herbs at all. There's a Terraman. Oh, hey, a Ranar. We'll take that. We'll never say no to a Ranar or an Eret. Another Ranar, let's go. See, now the Ranars are popping up. I think once I finish this row, that'll be enough to go back and start to uh, do some herb lore. Alright, one more herb and then we're out. Okay, one more herb, we can make it to a potion and then we're out. There we go, Hairlander. Now we're out. And while we're running out, let's go ahead and clean. Surprise that was an herbler level right there, to be honest. Uh okay, so we need four more herbler levels. Let's see how many we get with this. Uh this will require me to go to uh get some chocolate. Yeah. 
Okay. This. Go ahead. Deposit all these guys. Airlander goes for Renard. Paramount goes for Airlander. That looks all good and dandy. So we only need three chocolate. Let's see how far we can get with Okay, so we do have less than 14 folks. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and get our limp root and eyes of new. Okay, that's one level. And we're already almost out of supplies. Uh herbal or training, why must you be so painful? I know that these aren't going to do it. I'm just gonna head back in and get more herbs. Oh, what's the fastest way to get herbs? There's something that just drops long super fast. Herb box. Can I actually use an herb box? Like, is that available to me for the league? I don't think it is, but we're about to find out. Ah, uh, no, I can't. Okay. A bug or what about Harrowlander? let's actually look at Harrowlander because those will be fast uh grimy Harrowlander, what dropped you sinister chest where's the sinister chest oh my god that's so much better wait that's in this area Oh, I have to get... Okay. Never mind. I need Sinister Keys. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. I got so excited. Keys. Does that mean they're for left-handed people? Nah, it just means that they, uh... Actually, wait, hold on a second. Wait, I always get this stuff. But I have to kill that one guy over and over and over again. How often does he drop a sinister key? One in 12? Not worth it. That's going to be too slow. Yeah, it's going to have to come from more chaos druids. Darn. Okay. Well, let's get a little bit more then. I need a lock bag.
Okay, good. Herlander, Terraman. Terraman. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave Aventos on the floor because now I'm realizing I can't make Aventos anyway. Because I don't have access to more Meyer Fungus. So I can't make Super Energies. So we're leaving Aventos on the floor while we do this. Man, Ranars and Herolanders look so similar. They are a shade apart from each other, pretty much. Quarms and spirits are still good to go. Have those we leave on the ground. Nice, seventy nine magic. Let's go. We'll be able to blood, uh, blood rush soon. Or Blood Blitz, I should say. Alright, almost there to the end with this round. Four more to go. Four more herb. Picked up an avatar when I shouldn't have...
Ah, uh, now they're not dropping the herbs I need. Yeah, just a little bit more. Good, three more herbs. Not quite what I meant, but we'll take it. Two more herbs. One more herb. There we go. That was the last herb, unless this is better. Dwarf weed will leave. We don't have a good way to get wines of Zamorak. Okay, form, Aerolander, this form. Okay, let's go ahead and clean all these. Okay, 36 herb lore. Let's see if we can make this work a little bit better now. 14 of you, let's just grab all of these. Okay, we have more than 14 potions this time. Okay. Oh, we actually are running out of uh, Limport Roots. Those Terramins we can't really deal with. That sucks. We'll deal with as much as we can, but it won't be all of them. Okay, one more level, one more level. Okay, yep, the uh, Paralander potions should 100% do it now. Okay. good okay teleport cool leprechaun back to lumpy and then we finish the rest of this in the basement so we just need to buy a whole bunch of chocolate knife a whole bunch of chocolate and then we're done I remembered the tech. Unfinished Carolander post go. Don't see them anywhere here. Where are they? Is 
There they are. Oh, they're in the wrong tab. That's fine. All right, there we go. That's 38 herblore. Now we can make prayer potions, but just to make sure, we're gonna get 39 herblore. Okay, good. Got all that taken care of. Now for the actual prayer potion proper. Good, 40. Let's go. We're absolutely tearing through herblore. It is no longer anywhere close to being our lowest. So that's good. Uh, looks like, yeah, we just need farming up for uh, our new highest level here. Okay, awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take these prayer potions and we are going to take them all to the Grand Exchange. We can get these decanted. And then the Monkey Madness 2 tunnels, and hopefully that won't take too long. Mainly wanting to go there just to scout out and see how long it will take to get what I want. Also, I just realized there is a task that I have yet to complete. Uh, here. Uh, we need to throw this on really fast. There we go. How much better is it? You know what? We wear this. Why not? Actually, this will be better. Is this better magic? It is not. Okay. Uh, we need you. We need an emergency teleport, which I guess will be the arty cloak. Um, we need a banker's note. And we need like three prayer posts to start. With a note of this already. Okay. And then for actual equipment to bring, let's bring in this. Can I wear the miter? Oh, those are noted. I can wear the miter. Okay, good. I can't wear the stole. Can I wear the cloak? I can wear the cloak. Okay. Rajan. We need our bankers now. We need our fairy flight. Okay. Off to Monkey Madness Tunnels. I wonder how packed it's gonna be. Hopefully not too many people thought of doing this. Or just thought of it up to getting high, uh, high combat. Okay, so we need to go south. Okay, now to figure out which route to go. Okay. One stretch done. Wait, I just realized this should mean I can't fail with the uh, with the kicks that I have on.
I'm not looking forward to do this on the real cape break. That is going to be a very, very stressful one. Look in. One adventure. All right. We hop around until we see one that has either zero adventures or zero adventurers or not many. Climb up. Do I need a light source? Did I forget a light source? Oh, I do need a light source. Crap. Okay. Oh, I forgot the crystal of memories. No! That's so unfortunate. Okay, I need to bring a crystal of memories next time. Can't believe I forgot a light source. Does Kander and Headgear 1 count as a light source? It does. Okay, we're gonna take that then. We're gonna bring Crystal of Memories. I can't. I need to not forget the Crystal of Memory that's in my inventory. Nope. Teleport. Back here. I was almost about to just end that gnome. You know what? Let's try going this way. Nope. That was a bad choice. We're gonna go the way that I know works. And then I step on a piece of area that I knew not to step on. Oh god, these things hurt. Actually, I think I see what I did wrong. That worked too? All right, well, we'll we'll just go the way that I know works. Because the way that I want to go isn't working. Go. Climb.
All right, crystal of memories. So now if I have an issue, I can teleport back. Do one adventure, okay. We just keep hopping until we find something that works. No adventures, perfect. All right, and time to let the fireworks happen. Those small ninja monkey bones we'll get rid of. Right now, we are looking for prayer potion one doses. There we go. I saw one. Let's highlight it. Oh, come on. There we go. Hey, what's up, Lunar? What's up, Kurt? Welcome in. Welcome in. We're doing some crazy stuff. We're killing a whole bunch of monkeys because they give good prayer potions. Also, thank you for that happy early birthday. Thank you so much, Raiders. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've just been doing a lot of uh, preparation right now. I'm trying to find a good way to get some prayer potions here. And this, I learned, might be a really good way. So, I guess this is how you maintain indefinite trip. So... We'll see how this goes. Yeah, thank you for the early birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Thank you all to my uh, to my Twitch crowd here. So for those of you who are not currently aware, I am multi-streaming to YouTube and Twitch at the current moment. So if I respond to something that you didn't see in chat, just assume it was the other one. Okay, yeah, this is going good. This is what I was hoping for. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this until we get uh, probably, we gotta do this probably for about six or seven minutes. And then after this is done, we're gonna go through and attempt the fight caves, which is a fairly difficult challenge in normal RuneScape. But right now, RuneScape is a little different. Um, the frequency of my attacks right now is a lot higher than it normally should be. And that's because right now there is a temporary event going on called the League, where uh, attack rates, XP rates, drop rates, mini game points, all sorts of other stuff get uh, multiplied by a significant amount. And there are also multiple different uh, relics that impact the way that gameplay just works in general. So right now I'm currently working with a relic, or I'm working with five relics right now as i am on tier five uh, i have a relic that basically lets me passively gain agility experience as well as never fail any thieving challenge that ever gets put in front of me um i have another relic that just gives me a lot of really good teleports um i have this relic here which allows me to take the items that are in my inventory and turn them into banknotes or i can do it the other way around too um, I also have a magic relic that just makes magic object objectively the best option for me to use. I'm just absolutely tearing through everything that I fight right now, and I barely 
barely cost anything for me to do it. And then the last thing I have is just uh, something to help out with blue scrolls, which are like RuneScape scavenger hunts and gives me really good loot and uh, makes it so that way I'm not having to spend a lot of time doing each step of the clue scroll. So that is, in a nutshell, what is currently happening right now. Um, but one of the biggest things about this league that makes this unique is that uh, this is a region lock league. So you start off with two regions of the map already unlocked, automatically good to go. And then you have an additional three regions to pick from out of i think of an uh i think out of about six different options so you really have to pick and choose which regions you're going to be in uh which upgrades you're going to have available to you what your gear setup is looking like and uh the amount of planning that goes into this is something that i really enjoy so this has been uh has been probably one of my favorite times ever playing this game it's just during this event Yeah, I hope that was in Monday. So I hope that Monday Night Fright went well for y'all. Uh, what was the game today? Or were you watching videos? What was the plan? We'll be out of here in a minute. Oh, you played GTA 5? Nice, nice. So... Are you playing GTA 5 right now because there's like a scary event going on? Or are you just playing GTA 5 to play GTA 5? Like a bunch of goobers? Hey, there you go. Just for fun? Oh, okay, gotcha. Just have someone wear like demon horns and that'll be enough for uh, uh, Monday Night Fright. Good lord, I'm almost getting a million magic XP an hour doing this. Kurt is a skull mask. There you go. going to bed all right good night you have a good night love you thank you for the raid these xp rates are just actually disgusting i realize too those aren't even the true xp rates of what i'm getting here because I've been doing some other stuff that has been not just this. <laughs> and to both chats, be nice to my boyfriend or old girl Feral. All right. As a direct threat from Lunar. <laughs> You also have Ghost Rider Spike. Ooh, nice. Hell yeah. Okay, so currently this is... The numbers are still settling. I actually can't give a good estimate on how much XP per hour this is. But right now it is pushing three and a half mil XP per hour. It's looking like it's starting to stabilize around there. So yeah, this is three and a half mil XP per hour just sitting here barraging monkeys on this league. That's that's what 12 times XP rates do for you. And we're not even done with the XP rates going up too. We still have another tier of uh, multiplier to go. I think at like tier seven, uh, I unlocked 16 times XP rate, which is just, that's just nuts. 
This game turned into easy scape <laughs> during leagues alone, and I am here for it. All right, once this last prayer potion is drank and we're getting a little close to the end of this, we'll go ahead and call it. And uh, we'll tell you out and start a fight cape with them. Prayer potion is a weird concept if you think about it. A little bit. You gotta drink your Jesus juice. Otherwise, you can't pray away the, the pain. Sixty-nine defense, nice. Isn't that what just communion is? I guess so. Communion is just restoring your prayer points back to full. Yeah, I've been out here long enough for things to start losing aggro on me. Let's go ahead and uh, refresh that. Yeah, this was this was the method to get prayer potions. My goodness. Okay. All right, aggro should be reset now. Or not. Maybe I need to run all the way over here. There we go. Now aggro's reset. I don't have my NPC aggression lines on right now, but I at least know how the quirks of this game work well enough to know that it drew the boundary like right here. Eighty-two magic, let's go. So we need 88, no, I need 92 for Shadow Barrage, 92 for Blood Barrage, 94 for Ice Barrage, but we have Ice Blitz going right now, too. So that is, that's going to be our largest single target damage dealing spell. Uh, we'll probably be using that the majority of the fight caves unless we're needing to uh, heal with blood stuff. I feel so smart for thinking about this. I'm I'm so happy I remembered that this this but this spot was here. I'm happy that they dropped prayer potions. That's really been the saving grace. If I had a bone crusher available to me too, this would be a 99 grind area. You easily grind up the 99 uh, prayer right here with a bone crusher. You just have to have enough charges to get started, but even then, that's not that bad.
Okay, looks like I noted that last dose, but that's fine. We'll just go until we have like 10 prayer points left, pick up all the rest of the prayer potions that we need and dip. This genuinely looks like a mobile game ad. It does a little bit. This is a pretty goofy, uh, pretty goofy method to train things, all things considered, but it is incredibly effective. Like, honestly, I might just come down here to get 99 magic. It would hardly take any time at all. Bunch of simple numbers, large amounts of enemies are going down quick. Yeah. Oh, it's missing is where I fail at the game and die. That's fair. I mean, I could do that, but I'm not going to. I have too much at stake. All right. Really good, really good session at the Maniacal Monkey. See, that's 52 single dose prayer potions, which is going to give us uh, let's see here. 52 single dose prayer potions turns into 13 full potions. So that gives us what? 18 prayer potions to work with? Okay. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit less than what I would want to normally bring into a fight cave. But, we ball. So we're going to do it anyway. Um, I really don't know anything else that I would need to bring in. This honestly is kind of more just like a can I do it? But should I maximize? I know for sure we need to bring in Obby Shield. Going to be a better tank field for me overall. Let's bring in some salmon as emergency food. Um, you want to maximize prayer? I think that might be the better option. Yeah. Yeah. Let's maximize prayer. Very perfect. Hey, thank you very much, Amia. All right. <laughs> Is either going to go extremely well or extremely poorly. Regardless, this is the last thing we're doing tonight on stream. You also have an ad? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, imagine that joke being how you lose your hardcore status. Oh, God. I would hate to lose my hardcore status to a bit. Like, it would be really funny, but I, I would regret that. That'd be a lot of regret later on. Have played OSRS in so long. Oh yeah, this is this is always a treat. And we're in the league right now too, so everything is much much different. Like right there, I just got 80 points for casting Ice Blitz, or Ice Blitz. So things are going to be uh, things are going to be a little bit silly. We're seeing Fight Cave like we've never seen it before. Play it when you got 13, or you play it when you were 13. Fair enough. I'm a little too in the woods. I have drank the Kool-Aid and know what it, and and I can't, I can't get anything else. Oh right, I have that thing that splashes stuff. I forgot about that.
Yeah, not wrong with it, but there definitely are some games that I have missed out on because I've just played RuneScape. Like recently, I've been going through the entirety of Kingdom Hearts because I've never played those games before. And I've been absolutely adoring my time with that game. Uh, but RuneScape's definitely a game that I was playing a lot when that came out. I also had the unfortunate situation of not having owned a PS2, so, you know, gotta catch up on the games that I can, can catch up on. Final Fantasy XIV for you? See, I'm, I'm trying to get into Final Fantasy XIV a little bit. I have a level 30-something Paladin, like level 35 Paladin, uh, playing through the free trial, and it's, it's okay. I think a lot of my issues with Final Fantasy is just the fact that it's a much more traditional style MMO, which I'm not that familiar with. Uh, and also, Realm Reborn is a bit dry, as uh, many people will tell me. Didn't know Runescape was an MMO till someone on Runescape told you? Ah, oh, gotcha. Never been able to stick to MMOs. Their commitment. They're absolutely a time commitment. Yeah, I've heard that Heaven's Word gets a lot better, and like all the DLCs and the expansions are good too. Just sucks that I have to power through the bad stuff to get to it. <laughs> Re Rome Reborn was all lore slop. Yeah. See, like, the stuff about the Garlean Empire and that kind of things with the Magitek seems really cool, but I'm sitting here, it's like, all right, when is this going to actually come into play? Hour 100, hour 200? Where, where, when are we actually going to see this conflict play out? Ooh, I almost got hit by the bat. I wanted to try and get the uh, don't get touched by a bat uh, combat achievement while we do this. Uh, here, let's take out these bats and then I'll read your message. Oh, here. Um... Uh, they recently streamlined it, depending on how far you are, it's a lot less than it was. Oh, okay. I think I just got to... Oh, what was it? What was the last thing I did? We're trying to find who the masked people are. I just got out of like a weird, like deep forest mansion. It was the last like story dungeon I did. Hawk Manor? Yeah, that one. I have no idea how you're supposed to say it. About to get to the better stuff? Okay, that's good to know. I probably won't be able to play any more FF until the leagues is done. Because, uh, man, I'm having so much fun with this. I don't want to play another MMO while doing this. Uh, but, yeah. Now that I know that I have something to look forward to, I'll probably enjoy my time a lot more. You went through it five times before they streamlined it? Oh, geez. Been through once since? Okay. I like being able to be so far away and just destroying these guys with a blitz.
Ranch is a good feeling. Oh, yeah. I'm just happy that I'm able to spam ancient magics as much as I can. Because they were like, they're, they've always been hyped up in the lore to be this like really insanely powerful way to do magic that has been lost to an empire that got destroyed in a cataclysmic event that forever changed the landscape of the world. So it feels appropriate that I'm just sitting here melting things off the face of the planet with these magics. <laughs> come back to this at some point right now is the best time to do it like if you have availability right now like in the next month or two to do it i'd say join in and do the league it is probably the best way to get a good feel for how this game is and just how much it's changed because all the content is just hyper speed and so you can see what you like and what you don't like I should probably heal off the next couple guys I kill. Just to keep myself topped off. Never any harm in that. Oh wait, Ranger's out now. Okay. Doing good on prayers so far. I've only sipped one dose, so uh so we're doing really, really good on supplies. Do everything I can to save some prayer po or prayer points while I have this opportunity. The Ketzek, uh, or the Major, that's going to be coming up here pretty soon, is going to be the thing I'm most worried about when it comes to uh, what kind of damage we're going to be doing with magic, because that thing is, because uh, that thing is very very strong against magic. So I'm hoping that. Uh, it's not too bad whenever I go to fight it because magic accuracy has been boosted 175% so hopefully that means I do magic good getting more targets on the field let's switch to barrages or to bursts okay
Oh god. Please freeze, please freeze. Okay. All right, we're good. All right, we're almost on the two rangers set. Double me or double range, good. Uh oh. Pretty soon we're gonna be on to double melees. So that'll give us a chance to kind of chill out with prayer. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how the majors deal. Please be fast. Couple splashes, okay. Okay, killed one of those guys. Yeah, things are gonna be much more difficult now. Just cause I'm gonna have to deal with resource management a lot more. Hopefully I don't lose too many prayer potions. That's really the only thing I'm super concerned about. We'll just do this while the bats get in range. I think I can make it. We'll see. Are you gonna head off? All right, see you later, Andor. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, it's a good thing I decided to wear a whole lot of prayer boosting stuff. By case is definitely much more of a marathon than it is a sprint.
Come on, do a little more damage. The clock is ticking. Just ring back on chat. They ain't lying. Kazan 14 really takes off around 45, 46. Okay, so I'm 10 levels off. That's good to know. Because, yeah, it's, right now it's, it's definitely a lot of setup and I'm not really... I'm wondering what the payoff is going to be. Ooh, almost went to go smack the Ketzek in the face. That would have been bad. Okay, Archer should be coming out now. We need to focus Archer, and I think I'm actually going to go ahead and swap to Blood Spells. Grand Temple of Elders, whatever it's called. For oh, okay, I think it. I think one of my friends called it Palace of the Dead. If I remember right, I don't know if that's the same thing. Uh, to get the last few missions in your way and go to the next, get to the meat. That's the one. Okay. After leagues, I'll probably be more open to doing that. Your full expansion behind there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm still on the free trial, so it only includes Realm Reborn and Heaven's Word. Pretty sure. Okay, we're going to swap to Ice to take out the uh, Major. Because doing that against... Or doing Blood against the Major made me realize that Ice definitely is higher accuracy, higher damage. You'll like Heaven's Word? Okay. Because, yeah, I also want to get to Heaven's Word, too, because it's got the Dark Knight class, and I want to do that. I like tanking. Very Knights of Dragons? Okay. Yeah, that is kind of my bread and butter. What can I say? Sword and Sorcery Fantasy is my favorite brand. Hey, 75 hit points. Let's go. At the end of the day, at least Jad is very good training. Okay, we on blood in. I heard a lot more than I wanted it to. Cannot wait till I get barrage spells. Big stone forts, fighting frost giants. Okay, yeah, that is right down my alley. Take this guy out really quick. The ranger is the biggest threat every single time they're on the screen. The only thing that is a bigger threat than Rangers are Jad. And the only thing that is a bigger threat level than Jad are his healers. Okay, get out of there, get out of the way. Heal off the bat. Hmm. 
All right, heal off the ranger. And heal off the major. Okay, there we go. I like how much the mage fight caves was making me switch between blood and uh, ice spells. It feels a lot more involved than just sit there with a bow. Oh, we can also turn that off. Save some prayer. All right, prayer goes back on. Did I get it in time? I did. Okay, range's biggest threat every time they're on screen. Was that two blobs? That means we're on two healers next. We're actually swapping to blood. Oh my god, we need that. I am gonna get some of my emergency food supply out for this. Okay, we're fine. All right, now we get to chill. We don't have to worry about damage for a while. Because now it's melee phase. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I needed so much more prayer potions. We're totally fine.
There we go. It didn't lose a tick that time. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Ah, I got a nice little moment where I can let my prayer rest. And moment's gone. This next few set of waves here are going to be the hardest sets of waves. So I'm going to have to basically be on bloods the entire time. We're also going to take out our emergency food. Because there could be an emergency in which we need the food. Ranger is the highest priority. All right, we got to go through four more bat waves, four more blob waves, a lot more of the uh, Ranger wave. So, pray to God that things go well. Ouch. This is not going well by my standards. Nice. Let's go.
I don't like where the melee is at. Did I kill the ranger? I didn't even realize I did. you down right way come on kill this guy gotta kill the mailer mailer's gotta be the easiest one to kill go we're now getting to the point where basically having to sip a prayer potion sip every single wave i'll have enough oh no i got hit by the bat all because i couldn't click it ah oh, that's the worst Okay. Ouch. Ouch. We need to heal back up and fast. Okay, that was the scariest part of that entire run. That was the most enemies on screen that we will be experiencing for the rest of this fight cave attempt. So we're winding down to Jad now. Okay, next wave is going to be the highest damage wave because we're going to have to deal with two rangers. There's that splash damage coming into play. Because I got stuck underneath the cat sack. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Alright. You know what else is interesting? Blood spells. 
All right, here we go. Keep you right here. Okay, next phase should be double melee, then the one after that, double major, and then Jad. We're past the hard part. Actually, let's kill the cat back. Give our prayer a little bit of room to breathe. All right, double major, where's the gold guy? The so Jad's spawning right in the center, huh? Oh, he's not gonna give me a good opportunity to deal with his healers then. Hopefully I won't need that. I feel like I could out DPS his healers. It'd be shocking if I couldn't. All right. About to do a fight cave attempt or a jad attempt. Here we go. This is the make or break it point. All right. Hello, jad. All right, disabled half his healers. Should be fine. I fucked up. We're fine. All right, we got him. There's Jad dead. Woo! All right, we even tanked the hit for our, for our troubles too. All right, awesome, fire cave. Woo, boy. That was... That was almost really, really bad. <laughs> okay. All right, 240 points until the next... Uh, until the, uh, or nope, actually it's 40 points until the next relic. God dang, that's so intense. And we are now in Moral Wreck. Let's go. We have unlocked a huge area now. So this is, this is feeling pretty great. Now, Inferno, I will be attempting. Uh, I have to attempt. There's no way I'm not, but uh, not tonight and not for a while. So um, with that tonight, we we end victorious and I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it a great stream. Wait, actually, no, let's do something first because we did come in here for an upgrade and we are going to be getting that upgrade. 
Ah, oh, but Fire Cape feels so nice to have just out of the way. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Dump that. All right. Now we need money. We need chaos room. We also need get more chaos rooms than that. We need all of our chaos rooms. Because at this point, chaos rooms are not really useful to us. Uh, and we need all of our toe pool. And we need ground club. Okay, here we go. So we need a total of uh, about 250k to cool. So let's go to Varrock first and grab our Chaos Rune. And then we'll come right back here and uh, sell them. I think we need, what is it, like 15k Chaos Rune? Shouldn't be that bad. We'll buy them in batches of 10 from Aubrey. I just walked right past it. It's over here. All right. Now we teleport back to the rock. There we go. And down to Aubrey. Oh, man. That's still wild to me that we're 40 points to the next relic. We're going to get our next relic tonight, I just realized. Because equipping all the uh, obsidian stuff is a task. Ooh, I tore through way more of that stack than I should have. My bad. Rip like 3 mil there. Oh, crap. Well, at least we get some toe cool. And we were going to need to get this anyway in order to get, uh... We were going to need to do that anyway in order to get an Onyx, so we'll we'll cope that way. Uh, yeah, that is the only print shop, huh? Okay. Where is it? There. Sell. This actually might not be enough for all the uh, obsidian armor and the fury.
all right 441k that actually might not be enough to get all obsidian armor and the uh and the fury but we'll find out here in a second Actually, I wonder how effective a uh, Berserker Necklace would be with this set. Okay, one of each. 171k, that actually might not be enough. But there we go. A full set of Obsidian Armor is enough for a Tier 6 Relic. Oh, we get Ruinous Powers now. Oh boy. Okay. What else do we get? Four times drop rate for stuff. Uh, as a scroll gives me an item, must be unlocked at a bank. Okay. Because Ruinous Powers seems like a lot of fun. I kind of want to deal with Ruinous Powers. Let's do that. Uh, oh, right. We need to check how much an Onyx is. 260k. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, so we still need like another another 10k chaos rooms anyway. You know what? Let's handle that right now while I'm thinking about it. Uh, we need to go in front of the rune shop for this. Oh, this guy's splashing. That's actually not a bad idea. Splashing on a guy right there? Okay. Okay. Alright, 12,000. That should be more than enough. Gonna have to do a little bit more pickpocketing off stream again. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Hopefully that lost aggro. Yep, it did. All right, we need 260K. All right, 262K, let's go. That is more than enough to get me an Onyx.
All right, and that's an onyx. One more task done. But we can't forget to get the ruinous powers unlocked. Oh boy. All right. So next we got Soul Stealer, which is going to be the next big one that we get. That's going to push everything pretty much to the final tier. And then is there a passive effect? Okay, yeah. So execution is 5x drop rates. So we're currently working with 4x drop rates. We got Ruinous Powers, uh, 12 times XP. Yeah, we're, we're in a very, very good spot right now. Okay, Ruinous Powers. Let's go ahead and change. I want to see what these are. Okay, so... 60 is the base level, so we can't even use it yet with our current prayer book. That's good to know. But with that said, what what are we kind of aiming for? So, uh, let's see. Inkables, 20% magic boost. So that's just going to be really good. Uh, prayer point, well, that's that doesn't matter for the league. Oh, interesting. That's just an overall raise. Uh, boosted combat stats last bit spent longer. That's good. Um, heard. Oh, interesting. That's a PvP one. Metabolize. It'll leave before you can attack after eating food is reduced. Ooh, that's good. So you throw that on, eat food, take it off. Okay. Rebuke. Increase recoil damage by 50%. Vindication. Oh, that's just... That, wow, that's a much better. Um, that's a much better redemption. Decimate. Oh dear God. Okay. Annihilate. So vaporize. So eighty six really is what I want. Uh, Fumus bow. Jesus. That's insane. Wow, okay. So there are a lot of really good spell or really good prayers on this. Uh we gotta get ourselves up to 86. So what is what is augury by comparison? So it's 25%. Mystic might is 15%. So if we get to Mystic Will or Ink Will, that's a, a better Mystic Might, but a worse uh augury. And then this is Magic attack by 25 and damage by 4. Uh, so this is a much more DPS focused augury. This is most likely a more DPS focused rigor. Okay. That makes sense too because they're about the same level that you'd have to get anyway. Alright, but with that we are all done and good to go. How many viewers we got on Twitch? All right, we got enough for a raid. Let's go ahead and see who we want to raid today. Uh, who's online? If anybody has suggestions, feel free to throw them in chat. Otherwise, we got Ringo. Are they doing RuneScape right now? Oh no, he's currently sleeping. Okay. Um let's go ahead and raid Mammal. He's a fun one. He's a great RuneScape streamer. Have fun. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>